this is the first time we have lived together and then he's come for the summer. But unless I'm saying something wrong, like I felt like that it was a good experience for you. Yeah. He was a good kid. You know, he was easy to get along with, but <laughs> it was different. It was somebody always there. And when I'm used to it, just being me and him. If you weren't dating her, would he live with you now? He probably would be with me more. And if he wants to go and get his son, then I think that he should. Or if I'm not comfortable with it, they can get an Airbnb or, you know, something like that. But I don't want to block that. What's going on, beautiful family? I pray that you guys are blessed and highly favored. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kenny Speaks. To my subscribers and new subscribers, Eight up your chest. Listen, let's get into this video. I found this video over on my brother's essay video and it blew my mind. It absolutely blew my mind. <laughs> if you watch the video, you'll know where I get that from. But basically, this woman is basically telling this man that if he want to spend time with his child, I think he's 12 year old, 12 years old. He needs to get a B&B. Now, as a man, I am at awe to why he's even tolerating this. Being a mother who was a single mom, met my husband with three children. I cannot understand ever being put in the position of choosing between my husband or my partner, because that's not her husband, and my child. It does not make sense. And the fact that he, he's even considering arguing and debating whether she should get on board with him. And, you know, essay he spoke about the conversation where the woman was on about single mother it was put a ring on it, I think. Or let's say married, one of them. Where she was complaining that the man did not want to date single mothers. And it was a big thing. And this video is not getting a lot of attention. But it got my attention. No man needs to choose between a woman and their child. If that woman do not want to be a stepmother, listen, that's a big red flag because one, that's going to be attention always, always. That child is 12. That child will always be your child no matter how old that child gets. And there will be attention in that family because she don't want your child. And I don't know why you're debating it. That is nothing to debate. You don't need to convince anyone to take care of your child. If they don't want to take care of your child, leave that person alone leave them alone. There, there are many women out there who don't have children who will take care of you and your son, sir. You and your son. You look like you are a lovable man, a kind man. Sometimes I, I'm guessing too kind for your good. Too kind for your good. You need to leave this woman alone. And let her be by herself with no man and no stepchild so she can really see what you are worth. God bless. Listen, join the conversation below. Okay. That's his son. He's not going anywhere. You got to dig your heels in. It's not going to be easy. Like you have to let go of those things that are stopping you from being a family. And gentlemen, even though I'm telling women what they're doing wrong, a lot of this, I hold you brothers accountable. A lot of y'all are weak men. A lot of y'all are weak as better males. A lot of y'all are simps. How can a grown ass man sit there, allow a woman to sit there and say some dumb ass shit like that? A woman can only do what a man allows her to do. I had to let Shay know about choosing between her and my son because I wanted her to hear it and truly understand that before you just start making proclamations on what you want, that it's not gonna end well for us. You've known him half of his son's life? Yeah. So this is not the time to play games or lie, ladies and gentlemen. Your son 
is in need of what a 12 year old little black boy needs. And having a relationship with only a part of yourself is not sustainable. You guys can go do your own thing. You're his dad. I can join when I feel like it, not when I know. Shut the fuck up. So how do you do that after you want him to accept all of you? You're just getting married to me. Who are you getting married to? The fact she had the monkey balls to say this means she knows she knows her man ain't gonna do nothing. She knows where she stands with her man. That's why she was comfortable enough to say this dumbass shit. I think that it is a little bit deeper than I thought, but I guess him and his up. There ain't no guessing, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that we could separate the two. How? How you want to separate the two? It's, it's, it's mind blowing to me. It's not even up for debate. This is my son. Are you serious? You know, it, it, just like the host said, this is mind blowing. But gentlemen, this is really fucking my head up, honestly. See, a lot of sisters always shame. No, not even sisters, America shames men that don't want to date women with children. But here we are on a national television this sister is making it obvious she's i mean she's not biting her tongue she is being clear she does not want to be a stepmother but nobody i don't see nobody talking about this clip nobody but the other clip from the same show the other clip where the brother said he did not want to date a single mother that went viral black women tried to cancel that brother because he said he did not want to date. Oh, that's his son. He's not going anywhere. You got to dig your heels in. It's not going to be easy. Like you have to let go of those things that are stopping you from being a family. And gentlemen, even though I'm telling women what they're doing wrong, a lot of this, I hold you brothers accountable. A lot of y'all are weak men. A lot of y'all are weak ass better males. A lot of y'all are simps. How can a grown ass man sit there, allow a woman to sit there and say some dumb ass shit like that? A woman can only do what a man allows her to do. I had to let Shay know about choosing between her and my son because I wanted her to hear it and truly understand that before you just start making proclamations on what you want, that it's not gonna end well for us. You've known him half of his son's life? Yeah. So this is not the time to play games or lie, ladies and gentlemen. Your son is in need of what a 12-year-old little black boy needs. And having a relationship with only a part of yourself is not sustainable. You guys can go do your own thing. You're his dad. I can join when I feel like it, not when I know. Shut the fuck up. So how do you do that? after you want him to accept all of you. You're just getting married to me. Who are you getting married to? The fact she had the monkey balls to say this means she knows, she knows her man ain't gonna do nothing. She knows where she stands with her man. That's why she was comfortable enough to say this dumbass shit. I think that it is a little bit deeper than I thought, but I guess him and his up. There ain't no guessing, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that we could separate the two. How? How you want to separate the two? It's, it's, it's mind blowing to me. It's not even up for debate. This is my son. Are you serious? You know, it, it, just like the host said, this is mind blowing. But gentlemen, this is really fucking my head up, honestly. See, a lot of sisters always shame, no, not even sisters, America shames 
men that don't want to date women with children. But here we are on a national television. This sister is making it obvious. She's, I mean, she's not biting her tongue. She is being clear. She does not want to be a stepmother. But nobody, I don't see nobody talking about this clip. Nobody. But the other clip from the same show, the other clip where the brother said he did not want to date a single mother, that went viral. Black women tried to cancel that brother because he said he did not want to date